do men find sexy in women? Ooh. Oh, okay, okay, I got this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the number one thing is confidence. Oh. I'm telling wow. you, it, it's, it, it doesn't matter, like, what size, shape, age. I'll, I'll never forget, I was coaching this guy, and I, I always survey guys, you know, as mm. I said, Look at that woman over there. And there was a woman, and she was really pretty, and you know, kind of stick figure, and, and just kind of walking stiffly. And I said, "Do you find that woman sexy?" And he's like, "Well, she's pretty, but not sexy." And then a minute later, another woman walked by. She was a little heavier set, but man, she was working it. Oh, she she was yeah. it. And she was just so comfortable in her body. Yeah. I said, "Do you find that woman sexy?" And he's like, "Oh yeah." You know? <laughs> so, it's like energy, right? it's like comfortable in your skin. I think Absolutely. It really does resonate yeah. with men and women. One of the things that men find most sexy is when a woman's, woman smiles at them. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Because That's they huge. take it as their ability to make you smile. Yeah. And I oh, think that is that. a very sexy thing to have that ability for them to feel that ability to, to make us happy. To give something oh, yeah. to you, yeah, give you that, that happiness, you know, that I gotta, spark. I gotta say, I'm, I'm a size 14 and I live in Los Angeles, so it's typically a size zero city, right? Right. And um, I walked around for a lot of years apologizing for my size. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until I changed how I felt about my size and the key difference for me that you're talking to is I stopped apologizing for my size right. and I celebrated my shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, Love it. Can I tell Love you, my it. husband used to call me his little lady, and the ah. minute I started dressing for my shape, he's like, who is the sexy mama <laughs> I'm married to? And I was like, that's right. <laughs> Love it. It's so size it's the, versus shape. It's, yeah, also, it's yeah. not hiding in the clothes, regardless yeah. no. of your size or your right. age or whatever. But it's celebrating the shape because men always say they love the curve of a woman. Men want to feel virile and masculine. They do. Oh. And and when you can create a situation where you're allowing them to feel that way, stepping fully into being a woman. I really like this it's comment. Sexy. I was thinking that a really attractive quality is receptivity. Mm. So that when a woman allows a man to provide for her, or gift her, and I don't mean necessarily financially, just no. provide like, let can I take you out for Allow dinner? Her to feel like a can lady. I can I open the door for you? Uh, can I can I run this errand for you? Can I pick this up for you on my way home? And I think in our culture, again talking about the gender shift and how we're in the workplace even more and we're taking and on a making role, more money. And often to making more money, yeah. very good point. We've gotten so used to being independent and self-sufficient. No, 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 you don't have to do that for me. I can I do it for myself. I, I got, got it. it, I got it, it. I got it. Yeah. And it makes them feel like they can't do anything for you. Like, why am I around then if I can't contribute I to your life? I think it's confusing for men right now. It's totally confusing. Really yeah. I have to tell you, my boyfriend said to me very early on, he said, you are so sexy because you love being a woman. Mm -hmm. oh. And you know what? I hadn't really thought about it because I can be a little brazen. <laughs> out there. Yeah. I'm not a shy wallflower, but you know what? The truth is, I do love being a woman. Yeah. And I like being a woman because I like him being a man. Yeah. That's and I right. think that that is so a really sexy. That. I think yeah. celebrating that is oh. really super sexy. I would agree. Sexy. My <laughs> boyfriend's very, he's, he, he's a provider. He likes to take care. And I think it makes him really happy when I sort of, I, you know what? I, I'm in this masculine role all day long, doing my work, pushing my company, doing whatever it is I do. And when I come home, I have to remind myself I'm not manager. I'm not boss. I'm not <laughs> like I, I actually tell women I remind them. I'm like you. You need to turn back into a woman. Yeah. <laughs> when yeah, you come right. home, and it doesn't mean that you need to, you know, start washing some dishes or put the groceries <laughs> away or do something. That, but you just need to just get back into your femininity. Love that shift because you're right. Yeah. You do all day long, make all like, the decisions, all the de run this yeah. business, yeah, yeah. make this, do that. Yeah. And then you come home, and I love switching, like handing the baton. Yes. I, I love I, snuggling I totally in agree. there and getting, like, my husband cooks, and it's I, really good. But that is femininity, is, is receiving. That's what I, yes. I feel like that's the definition. Yeah. So that a lot of women yeah. will say, but I don't want to dumb down. But there's a difference between receiving and taking. Oh, yes, there and it that's is. So important. What do you mean? Explain. Yeah, what do you mean? Because a, I feel like women have a struggle receiving a lot of times mm -hmm. because Absolutely. that means that you have to be vulnerable and it means that that you you're not independent enough you know, allowing men to do things yeah. Yeah. whereas yeah. so a lot of women so there's you know it's kind of two camps gold digger taker uh -huh. you know versus a woman who's in her power and still is allowed to receive and give well we lack this paradigm that. in our culture where we can be independent and dependent at the same time we sort of have this hercules oh, mentality I love yeah. it. <laughs> but i'm just saying we have this hercules you know, mentality like we got to do it all ourselves and we, we there's no okayness about being independent and self-sufficient but also then being dependent being a woman is not weak 
No, no, it's not. not it's not. It's not weak. It's just being a woman, and 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 I think sometimes women get afraid that if they step too fully into that, they're going to appear well, to be weak or feel weak and, and vulnerability. That's right, but it's vulnerability can be sexy. I, I think it's vulnerability and feeling safe in that vulnerability. That's right. Also, so for men, again, the independent dependent. So for men, the thing that they find sexy is confidence, and they find sexy women that allow them to be men. Mm. Yeah, receptivity. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. Cheers to men, guys. Cheers, Cheers to men. men. Yeah. 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 Yeah.